Welcome into a fully loaded edition of Round Ball Roundup for Alexa Ross. I'm AJ Feldman. We have got 12 games for you tonight. That's right, 12. And we start with one of the brightest stars in Section 5. That's right. Finney sophomore Marcus Robinson entered tonight's game 27 points shy of 2,000 for his career. And I said that correctly. He is just a sophomore. We go to that game. They are taking on undefeated North Star. Robinson was cooking early. 16 points in the first quarter alone. He continued his barrage in the second. That layup gave him 1,998 points. Two away, still in the second, finning up by 16. Robinson on a 10 number two. That is 2,000. Tenth player in Section 5 history to hit that number. Congrats to him. Back to the action. North Star was down 17 in the third. Turner Harris trying to keep their perfect season alive. But this was Finney's night and Robinson's night. 48 for the sophomore. Finney gives North Star their first loss of the season, 83 to 70. Right down the road from us right now, leadership looking to get their revenge over East. Tied at 24 in the second, Mo McKinney hits Kamari Smith in the paint. He gets the bucket, and the Lions take the lead, but not for long. Darren Blocker Jr. drains the triple, and East is back on top. Justice Ross Simmons with a smooth Euro step. That's another two for the Eagles. Blocker erupted for 31 points tonight as East dominates leadership 101 to 73. Over to Athena as Pittsburgh Sutherland took on the Trojans. Athena down three early in the first. Luckily for, for Sean Jackson Smith. That shot is worth three pointers and we're tied up. Later on in the break, Patrick Smelt staring into your living room. Shane Leonard with two of his 15. Later in the quarter, Athena down 13-12. Kenny Freeman, the two-handed slam. This one got tight. We jumped to the very end of the game. Tied at 57 with four seconds left. Edgardo Ortiz drives in for the layup, beats the buzzer. Trojans win 59-57 in dramatic fashion. Jeff Lefebvre and his undefeated Spartans over at Webster Schrader. Gates opened on a 13-0 run and never looked back. Adam Williams from the wing makes it look easy, and the Spartans are up 26-7 in the second. Tyler Race drains a corner three as the Warriors play catch-up. Cameron Brown hits 6-8. Spencer Glenn behind the back and in. Gates' Chai Lai leads 30-18 at the half. Benjamin Carey opening the second half from downtown, but this game belonged to the Spartans. Williams with the spin move and the bucket. Glenn showing off his long-range jumper, a triple-double for the small forward tonight as Gates moves to 7-0 on the year. North Star girls, they are also undefeated, trying to make sure Finney doesn't end their perfect run. But they're down eight in the third. Brianna Jones makes it a six-point game. Later, Janiah Johnson, the lefty finger roll. She's got the touch. Still in the third quarter, Serena Pasquantonio hitting as many shots tonight as letters in her last name. The three there, then up 11, absorbs the contact, gets it to fall. Finney knocks off North Star, 65-58. Senior night in the dog pound as Franklin hosts World of Inquiry. Ramel Brown was giving the Quakers a hard time, the block and the bucket, and he follows it up with a three to make it a beautiful eight-point game at Franklin, but they capitalize on turnovers, too. Offense turns to defense for Davion Sagat, but the Griffins win it 66-55. to Staying in the RCAC, School of the Arts hosting Monroe. Early in the first, Jameer Speed. He's got speed and a filthy crossover, too. The three puts the Red Jackets up 8-7. to seven. Back the other way, Kevion Mitchell. He had a quadruple double on Monday. Settles for the three-pointer there. Later, Mitchell showing he's got all the moves. The long outlet to Reggie Smith. Nifty finishes to go up 15-12 for Soda. These teams met earlier in the year. Monroe with a big fourth quarter comeback. No such luck tonight. Smith with the three. Silverhawks win 74-48. Sticking with Soda, the girls taking on Aquinas tonight. A quick start for the Little Irish in this answer. Sophia Hartman, the two, they jump out to a 6-0 lead. The Silverhawks have their answer. Kiara Jackson, the rainbow falls for three, but they could not keep up. Alexander, the shooters bounce. Aquinas moves to 5-3 with the 68-31 win. Let's head on over to Brighton as the Bruins hosted Penfield to the third. Brighton up 33-28. R.J. Wilkins, good from the corner, cuts the deficit to just two points. Back the other way, Aiden Lazenby using his height to keep the ball away. Great fundamentals there. Watch that at home, kid. Penfield looking for answers. Pitcher perfect passing turns into a Caden Harrington bucket. But Brighton pulls away in this one. Tyler Ortiz is open for three. Brighton gets the win. 71-64 is your final. Now on.
on to the girls, the female Bruins. They are there, Thomas hosting their senior night. Audrey Greaves' jumper gets the Titans on the board early, and they keep rolling. Sophomore Maddie Kelly from the same area, just a few feet back, knocks down the three. Thomas is up by five, back the other way. Kaya Larkins nails the pretty jumper. And in transition, off the class for two, Thomas wins a close one, 46 to 37. We keep on rolling, folks. McQuaid at home taking on Edison Tech. Pick this one up in the second. Inventors down 11. Mike Morgan, crafty, difficult layup, makes it a 19-10 game. But McQuaid proving they are not just the Keith Warren show. Colin Bavi Bavi Badila. Good for three, bad pronunciation, sorry man. Later off the rebound, he gets it there. Another triple for the junior. Then up 27-14, he'll dish it off to Joe Cairns. Good night of shooting for McQuaid. They win 69-56. And we finally wrap things up at Northeast Douglas. The Panthers hosting early college. Douglas up 38-19 at the half, but Cobra's open on a 6-0 run. Jahan Richards with acrobatic finish, but the Panthers were not gonna be denied. Jason Jones, the three off the inbounds. Then good ball movement finds Jakeem Mosley in the corner. Douglas gets their second win of the year, 69 to 39. What a busy night of basketball, but it was also a big night for bowling. That is right, sectional championships for the boys coming away with team titles. Hilton, Athena, Newark, and Marcus Whitman. Congrats, and congrats to Schraders. Colton Adeletta, who bowled a perfect 300 game. I don't have one of those. Uh, me neither. Congratulations to all of the sectional champions. After the break, we'll preview a big game for the Orange tomorrow, but first, more Section 5 scores. That is all the time we have for you tonight. Coming up tomorrow, the Sabres are back in action, and we'll see if Jeff Skinner is back in the lineup. And more Section 5 action, where it is the girls' turn for their bowling sectional championships. Be sure to join us for A.J. Feldman. I'm Alexa Ross. Have a great night.